this was a comparison this was a large study done it was a cross-sectional study done in the United States 88 rheumatologists participated in that thousand patients participated in that half the patients were ankylosing spondylitis half the patient were non radiographic axial spondyloarthritis and the questions were what is the burden of the disease number one and what kind of medications these patients receive and there were lots of patient reported outcomes which the patients filled out uh, only patients who have rheumatologist proven diagnosis of ankylosing spondylitis or non radiographic excess spondyloarthritis were allowed to participate and they were roughly about 500 in each group uh, and as I said 88 uh, rheumatologists and what was found out interestingly was the symptom burden and the disease burden was equal in both ankylosing spondylitis and non radiographic excess spa however the difference was substantially less number of patients who are non radiographic were treated with biologics so for the same amount of burden patients are not being treated not being taken seriously because they don't have definitive ankylosing spondylitis and that's why they are not being treated with biologics the way they should for the same amount of burden that they have with or equal burden like ankylosing spondylitis and uh, that was a eye-opener and that was an important study